uh, Star Destroyer came over top and we all sort of raised our heads and then giggled. I was hooked from that moment on. My name is Steve Sansweet and we are here at Rancho Obi-Wan, a nonprofit museum in Northern California that houses the world's largest Star Wars collection. Now, I like Jar Jar Binks. There are some fans who would prefer to see him in carbonite. It's really sad, but many Wookiees died to bring you this cell phone case. For many years, the only three-dimensional replica of a Death Star was this pencil sharpener. And it's your home soda dispenser, Moss Eisley Space Port. Of course, it all began with the action figures. There were 12 original figures. They did not come out until 1978 because nobody marketed toys for movies back then. It, Star Wars really started that whole thing. It's not just about the stuff. That would be boring. It's all about the stories, my personal stories and the anecdotes behind things. There was an online bankruptcy auction and they were listed as alien mannequins, but I knew what they were. Welcome to the Rebel Blockade Runner. You don't need to see our identification. We don't need to see their identification. This is one of my most significant items. It was a banner that was hand-painted by the amazing Ralph McQuarrie, the concept artist on the first three Star Wars movies. The first time I saw Star Wars was on the back lot of 20th Century Fox. I was at that time a reporter for the Wall Street Journal. And so it was before all the hype had started. I think there's something about Star Wars that really no other movie quite had. And number one, it was a movie of its time originally because you have to remember the 70s were really sort of dark with the politics and the movies reflected that. And George Lucas set out to make a movie for kids to have heroes again. Well, what it did is awaken the kids in all of us. Blew up the Death Star. It was the film where I originally identified with Luke Skywalker and his yearning to leave home because I had gone on that journey. To see it now, almost 40 years later, with three generations of fans and you know about to spur a fourth generation of fans, it has a staying power unlike any of these other movie franchises that we've seen really in the last half century. I get couples here. I really should do couples therapy. And they come in the front door and I hear, honey, as long as you're not this crazy, I'll never complain about your Star Wars collection again. I feel good about that.